Local filmmaker Christopher Darton will be screening his newest documentary, Hardworking Man, The Music and Miracles of Danny Brooks at Lakeshore Catholic High School in Port Colborne. So it's a, it's a documentary about Danny's life, music. Um, you know, he's got quite a story. He's kind of a Canadian Johnny Cash type figure. You know, he's kind of, uh, he came out of the hippie 60s, you know, into rock, into soul and stuff like that. While never making it to the top of the charts, Brooks is widely respected in the industry for both his talent and commitment to his craft. Brooks has spent his life recording and bringing his gospel-influenced rock to stages across North America. Along the way, Brooks overcame an addiction that almost took his life. Well, you know what? He's, he's a survivor. And there's a lot of survivor stor survival stories out there. Um, but, uh, you know, he's done it a little differently. He, he came out the other side after years of addictions and, and, and tough years, jail time, you name it. And he didn't just survive. What he did was it was almost as though he cut those 20 years out of his life and reverted back to those 20 years earlier at that age with that kind of energy, that kind of zest for what he does. He's, he's, he's an inspiring guy, that's for sure. He's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's changing people's lives. That's what he's doing. And that's a big thing for a musician to do. Christopher has known Danny for over a decade. While the personal relationship was an asset in producing the documentary, Dart needed to make sure that the story would resonate with a wider audience. You know, I know Danny. I know, you know, the ins and outs. I know the stories and whatnot. So all of a sudden you sit down, you start editing all that stuff together. Well, I know the story, but am I conveying to that audience what this guy's about? Because you fill in a lot of gaps in your mind because you know things and stuff like that. And then you, you have to kind of step back a little bit from it and say, but am I telling a story to the people? Are, are people going to get this and that? Um, the rest of it, as far as me you know, being close to him and that, it was, it was an asset. As they have in the past, Lakeshore Catholic has offered up their Performing Arts Center to premiere another Darton documentary. The night of the film, obviously the film is the highlight, uh, but uh, like I said, we have a variety of different things happening. We'll have our, our, our student jazz band that'll be performing. Uh, they'll be doing some bluesy music uh, to kind of keep in tune with the uh, film. Uh, our culinary students will be here and they'll be uh, providing some refreshments. Our tech crew, uh, who will be totally into um, the film aspect of the uh, of the evening, as well as the uh, all the technical aspects that uh, that are involved in it as well. So it'll be a real cross curricular type of feel to it, and we're just happy that Chris is, uh, has has uh, chosen to partner up with us, and uh, we think it's a great venue for him to get uh, some great work that he's doing as a local filmmaker out into the community and to use this community school to showcase those things. It's great for me, it's great for the community, I think, because it's really nice to, uh, to be able to share something like that in a small area like this. And uh, it's great for the students because, you know, those, all those, those kind of opportunities weren't around a long time ago, certainly. Weren't around when I was a kid, when I was wanting to make films or whatever. <laughs> The screening of Hardworking Man, The Music and Miracles of Danny Brooks will take place on Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10. In Port Coburn, reporting for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.